Uh, you know, early this morning, so much speculation, uh, anticipation, Rahul Gandhi back in Lok Sabha, Rahul Gandhi kick-starting proceedings uh, where the discussions on the no-confidence motion was concerned. Suddenly, there's a last-minute change and you have Gaurav Gogoi back in place. What went down? Why that last-minute change, Rajdeep? The decision to not field Rahul Gandhi to start off the debate uh, was taken after consultation this morning where one of the suggestions made, among others, by the Congress President Malikarjun Kharge was that Rahul Gandhi should be seen to be, in a way, challenging Prime Minister Modi. And uh, it was felt that this could only happen if Rahul Gandhi waited a bit and uh, perhaps spoke either just before Prime Minister Modi on the third day of the debate, that's on the 10th, or certainly after a substantial uh, uh, number of speakers had already delivered uh, their comments so that Rahul Gandhi, in a way, could respond to them, uh, thereby uh, getting the chance to, to counter some of the criticism that may come the Congress leader's way. So I think it's a tactical, strategic decision taken by the Congress. There was also the belief that if you speak just before the Prime Minister, then it positions you as the principal opposition to him, and you can almost share equal space, in a way, is what one Congress leader told me within the Congress itself who were taken by surprise because they had gone into Parliament this morning expecting Rahul Gandhi to speak first. Even uh, some of the BJP Treasury benches were caught by surprise because uh, the reason why Nishikan Dubey uh, led the BJP uh, debate was because he's seen as one of the leaders who takes on the Gandhi family at every opportunity. So the idea that the BJP had was to immediately target Rahul Gandhi the moment he had spoken. Uh, but that doesn't seem to have uh, quite worked off. So purely, I think, tactical and strategic to position Rahul Gandhi in a way that he would be there in parliament, perhaps, uh, and speak just before the prime minister does, while the prime minister uh, is in all likelihood sitting uh, in the Lok Sabha. Well, Rajiv, interesting, tactical to position him uh, that he takes on the prime minister, but is it just limited to positioning, maybe shielding as well? Uh, because uh, who, what we've seen, especially on the floor of the House, have been traditional Rahul Gandhi, Beta, Smithy Irani, uh, Nishikan Dubey, all of them uh, there uh, couldn't really attack Rahul Gandhi. Now, Rahul Gandhi would have the opportunity uh, to respond to all the charges that have been made in days to come. And somewhere down as well, maybe if he speaks right before the prime minister Modi, uh, Little elbow room for the Prime Minister's speech also to factor in what Rahul Gandhi said. Uh, is it a smart move or a silly move by the Congress? We're going to cut across to Moshmi, but I want to bring in Polomi Saha, my colleague, first. Because Polomi, in midst of all of this, uh, Congress quite surprised because we were already getting in messages from various Congress handles, uh, YouTube links. This is where Rahul Gandhi is going to speak. Not many uh, in the Congress uh, hierarchy even knew that Rahul Gandhi would not open the debate today. Having said that, did it take the Treasury benches also for surprise? We could see it in Parliament. Following him was Nishikant Dubey. First 10 minutes was pretty much... Uh, on Rahul Gandhi, but Rahul Gandhi didn't quite speak. The sheer fact that Smithy Rani was to end today, what's the reason that she didn't speak as well? Well, uh, that's right. Nishikan Dubey, in fact, uh, focused a lot on the Gandhi family, specifically, of course, addressing Sonia Gandhi as well, speaking about Rahul Gandhi, that he would have wanted Rahul Gandhi to speak. That's what he said at the start of his speech as well. That is because Nishikan Dubey was actually expecting Rahul Gandhi to open the debate on the no-confidence motion, as had been reported in the press early in the morning. But he also was taken uh, by surprise. He had come uh, prepared to take on Rahul Gandhi specifically after his speech. Uh, he was, of course, uh, decided already at the, as the the first speaker of the Bharatiya Janata Party. That was uh, something that we broke yesterday. But today, of course, after they learned that Rahul Gandhi is to open the debate, Nishikan Dubey prepared for the same, but that did not happen. So there was, of course, some amount of disappointment. You heard Prahlad Joshi over there say, you know, what happened within those last five minutes? Because uh, what we know from uh, of uh, sources within the speaker's office is that indeed Gaurav Gogoi reached the speaker's office at about 11.55 a.m., uh, making a petition saying that Rahul Gandhi will be speaking in instead of him and initiating the debate. They said that's absolutely all right. Say that on the floor of the House and we can, uh, you know, take proceedings forward. That was agreed upon. Five minutes later, he was back just before 
the session convened for, um, you know, after the adjournment at 12 noon. And he said, well, no, I'm going to go ahead and initiate. So what changed? Prahlad Joshi was asking the same question as well. As far as Smriti Irani was concerned, yes, there was a lot of buzz that Smriti Irani probably will be the speaker at about 6 p.m. Uh, this uh, evening. 6 p.m. is when uh, Lok Sabha Speaker Om Birla came to the House, sat for five minutes and adjourned as the, soon as the last speaker was uh, done. He adjourned for the day, took many by surprise. But with Smriti Irani, what we'd been hearing already through the day, Preeti, is that they're probably saving her as a counter to Rahul Gandhi already. So Nishikant Dubey couldn't take on Rahul Gandhi. It's likely that Smriti Irani may go after Rahul Gandhi. But how much of a scope that leaves because uh, Rahul Gandhi is now expected to speak on the 10th of August. 10th of August, when they're already mm -hmm. uh, expecting the Prime Minister to make his reply by about 4 p.m. Between 12 and 4, you have four hours. So Rahul Gandhi and how many other speakers are to come before that, uh, you know, to come after that, before the Prime Minister makes his reply. It's a very small window. So it remains to be seen now how, uh, uh, you know, both sides right. uh, juggle their speakers because what we've been seeing through the day, Preeti, is a cat and mouse game. Well, it's all too interesting.